Hi everyone, in this video we'll be learning about one of the techniques of evaluation of integrals which is trigonometric substitution. First we'll be learning where we need trigonometric substitution, then we will be learning to decide which trigonometric substitution to use. Well, where do we use trigonometric substitution? We use them for the evaluation of integrals in the form r x square root of a x square plus b x plus c. If I were to give an example very quickly, like we use it in the evaluation of this integral. We use it in the evaluation of x squared plus x minus 7 dx or like the integral square root of x squared plus 5x plus 1. Okay, we will be starting with simple examples. So the simplest examples you can get are these three, okay? So we will be trying to find out or learn which trigonometric substitution to use. We have this very well-known identity that you already know. So this is the identity that is going to guide us through the choice. Okay, from this identity, if you divide each term with cosine square, you end up with 1 plus tangent square, which is second square. Or if you divide this identity, each term in this identity with sine square, you have cotangent square plus 1, which is equal to cosecant square. Let's begin with this one, okay? Now, our aim is to get rid of that square root, okay? In order to get rid of that square root, I have to be able to write an expression, okay, which is a square of something, so that from the square root, you get rid of the, uh, I mean, the square root of the square, you get rid of the square root, okay? So, what I'm going to do, I have three identities, okay? I look to the first one, and I see that 1 minus sine square is a square, or 1 minus cosine square is also a square. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write x equals cosine t, so dx is minus sine t dt. So what we're going to get is dx is minus sine t dt, and in the denominator, under the square root, I'm going to have 1 minus cosine t square, which is sine square t. From the square root, you have sine t. The sine t's eliminate each other, so I'm left with minus dt. Similarly, if you do this <coughs> trigonometric substitution and follow the same steps, in the numerator, you're going to have cosine t dt. In the denominator, 1 minus sine square t. And after the eliminations, you're going to be left with dt. Okay, I'm stopping here. I'm not... In the next examples, we will be uh, writing down all the steps. So I'm just leaving there just to see what happens after the uh, substitution. Now, 1 plus x squared. You can see that 1 plus x squared, this identity is not going to work for this. So I look to this, okay, 1 plus tangent square, it works, second square, or 1 plus tangent a square, it's cosecant square. That means you can either use x equals tangent t, or you can use x equals cotangent t. Both of them are usable and doable. So, if this is your case, then you have secant square t dt. If this is your case, then you have minus cosecant square dt. So this is going to give me dx is secant square dt. And in the denominator, I have 1 plus tangent square. 1 plus tangent square t is second square from the square root, it's second after the eliminations, I have second dt. Okay, this one I leave it to you. Okay, x squared minus 1, 
1 plus tangent square, okay, second square minus 1 is tangent square. This is going to work, or cotangent square minus 1 cotangent square. So Kasokan square is also going to work for me. So either I use <clears throat> x equals second t, so dx is second t tangent t dt, or I use x equals cosecant t, where dx is minus cosecant t cotangent t dt. So this is or, this is or, this is also or. Okay, let me just do the second one. So dx is second t tangent t dt, and in the denominator I have second square t minus 1 after proper eliminations I end up with second t dt okay so I need to do some more steps but we're going to talk about those steps in the next few examples that I'm going to cover now I have three more examples they are slightly more complicated compared to the previous ones I have my identities Okay, that these are our key identities that will guide us through these choices. But the pro let's start with this one, the first one. Okay, if instead of 9 I had 1, I already know that 1 plus tangent square is second square, so I have to do a tangent um, substitution. But this is not 1, it is 9. So I have to make sure that I have a factor of 9 inside the square root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square root of 9 because I'm going to square here, write tangent t. So dx is root of 9, which is clearly 3, second square t dt. So if I substitute under the square root, now I have 9 tangent square t plus 9. So you see I have a factor of 9. In the denominator I have root of 9 tangent t and dx is root of 9 second square t dt. Okay, so under the square root I have 1 plus 9 times 1 plus tangent square which is second square if it comes out from the square root, it's going to be 3 second. So I have here 3 second cube t over tangent t dt. So, of course, you can also use root 9 cotangent t for your substitution. Now, for this next example, okay, if this 7 was 1, I know that second square minus 1 is tangent square, so I'm going to do a second substitution, but this is 7, so we are going to use x equals root 7 second t, so dx is root 7 second t tangent t, so if I do the substitution, the integral is going to become 7 second square t minus 7 over root 7 second t and dx is going to be tangent t dt. Clearly here under the square root I have second square t minus 1 which is root 7 tangent t, which means you get rid of that square root, okay? So, of course, you can also use x equals root 7 cosecant t. For the last one, now we are, we know what to do, okay? We, we know that if this is 1, 1 minus sine square or 1 minus cosine square is going to work. I'm just going to pick one of them. So I'm going to write root 3 
uh, root 2 sine t. So dx is going to be root 2 cosine t dt. So after this substitution, under the square root, I'm going to have a factor of 2. <clears throat> and x is root 2 sine t. And dx is root 2 cosine t dt. So clearly, this integral is going to be root 2 cosine squared t over sine t dt. Or this is also possible, root 2 cosine t. Now we have another example, okay? Now it's not x squared minus 5, but I have this intermediate term which is x squared plus x minus 5, okay? If you have something like this, the first step you have to do prior to any trigonometric substitution is you have to write this second degree uh, polynomial in, as a sum or difference of two squares, okay? So this is what we do, x squared plus 4x minus 5, this is x plus 2 squared minus 4, and I have another minus 5 here, so it becomes x plus 2 squared minus 4, okay? I go back to my identities, okay? Second square minus 1 is going to be tangent square, so I know that my substitution is going to be a second. I have a 9 here, so instead of x plus 2, I have square root of 9, which is 3 second t, and dx is 3 second t plus tangent t. So let's move on with the steps. So dx is 3 second t tangent t dt, and in the denominator under the square root, I have 9 second square t minus 9, which is tangent square from the square root. It's tangent. So I end up with second t dt after proper eliminations. So the integral is ln absolute value second t plus tangent t <clears throat> plus c, okay? Now, but we still haven't finished because we have to write everything in terms of x. So what do we know? x plus 2 is 3 second t. That means x plus 2 over 3 is second t. So that means that we have this right triangle where this side is 3, this side is x plus 2, so this side is square root of x plus 2 square minus 9. So I have dx x square plus 4x minus 5 equals ln absolute value second t plus tangent t plus c. Okay, what is second t? It's x plus 2 over 3. What is tangent t is x plus 2 squared minus 9 over 3 plus c. In this example, <clears throat> we have the square root of 3 minus x squared minus 2x minus x squared. Now we know that we have to be, uh, be prior to anything, we have to write this as a sum or difference of two squares. So this is 4 minus x plus 1 square. Then I go back to my identities to decide which trigonometric substitution to use. I think of 4 as 1 for a moment. So I have 1 minus sine square or 1 minus cosine square. So I know that I'm going to do either a sine or cosine substitution because I have a 4 here. I take the square root of 4, it's 2. So I have x plus 1, 2 sine t and dx is 2 cosine t dt. So if you uh, substitute uh, x plus 1 and dx, I have for the integral of cosine square t. 
to integrate, to evaluate cosine square t, we use the identity cosine 2t, 2 cosine square minus 1. So I have cosine 2t plus 1 over 2 dt. So I integrate sine 2t over 4 plus t over 2 plus c. I do the proper eliminations. Instead of sine t, uh, sine 2t, I write 2 cos sine t sine t. So I have 2 sine t cos sine t plus t plus c. Now I'm still not finished because I have to write my answer in terms of x. I go back to my substitution. So x plus 1 is 2 sine t. So sine t is x plus 1 over 2. So if I have a right triangle and this uh, angle t, okay, this side is x plus 1, this side is 2, then this side is 4 minus x plus 1 square, square root. So if I substitute the answers here, okay, instead of sine t, I have x plus 1 over 2. Instead of cosine t, I have 4 minus x plus 1 square over 2. Okay, what do I have instead of t? Okay, x plus 1 over 2 is sine t. So that means inverse sine x plus 1 over 2 is equal to t. So I have here inverse sine x plus 1 over 2 plus c as the answer of this integral. If you take the same expression and put it in the denominator and try to evaluate this integral, we're going to do, of course, exactly the same substitution. This integral dx is 2 cosine t dt. And in the denominator, I have 4 minus 4 sine squared t. Okay, so this is 2 cosine t, so they eliminate each other, so we end up with dt, so <clears throat> the answer to the integral is t plus c, what is t? Okay, x plus 1 over 2 is sine t, so t is inverse sine x plus 1 over 2. So the answer to this integral is inverse sine x plus 1 over 2 plus c. I hope you find this video helpful. In this video, we've talked about trigonometric substitution, which is one of the techniques of integration. We have uh, explored which trigonometric substitution to make and we have seen that these three identities guide us through our choice and after these choices we have explored and we have gone over the steps of evaluating an integral with trigonometric substitution. Bye!